she asserted her common law privilege against self-incrimination and told stewards she would not provide any information or evidence at an inquiry. She is subsequently unable to attend any race course nationwide, cannot have anything to do with horse ownership and cannot place a bet with a wagering operator. The Herald understands racing New South Wales stewards are now investigating the Snow family's relationship with Fletcher on three fronts. Firstly, were the prices the tab were being manipulated to offer inflated odds on particular horses, which Fletcher was subsequently able to take advantage of. Secondly, where the limits often placed on successful punters such as Fletcher were being waived and allowing him to bet with the tab to collect substantial amounts. Finally, whether Fletcher was betting with accounts registered in names other than his through the tab, a process commonly referred to as using a bowler in the wagering industry. No charges have been laid with respect to the current investigation and Fletcher did not wish to comment when contacted by the Herald. A prominent jockey has also been forced to hand his phone over to stewards in relation to the Snow investigation. The jockey is not accused of any wrongdoing and is understood to have cooperated when questioned by stewards. Both Sally and Nathan Snow have deleted their previously public and active Twitter profiles and the latter has since stepped down from a racehorse syndication startup, which was registered in South Australia. The investigation into the Snows is the first time they have been thrown into the public sphere but the same can't be said for Fletcher. In an unrelated matter, Fletcher was last year charged with 78 counts of dishonestly obtaining a financial advantage by deception. Loading in court, it was alleged both Fletcher and fellow prominent punter Darren as a party used the identities of a string of police officers to hide their gambling activities with several betting agencies. He was alleged to have placed the bets between September 2012 and March 2013, when news of the snow probe first broke last Wednesday, Racing New South Wales Chief Executive Peter Vlandy said the governing body would get to the bottom of the integrity issues at hand, with or without the cooperation of the former TUB trading manager, Racing New South Wales has zero tolerance for those that obstruct and hinder the maintenance of the integrity of thoroughbred racing in New South Wales, Vlandy said, we have set a precedent in warning off, and or excluding from participation, those persons that jeopardize the integrity of racing and it is important that we maintain that strong stance. Even though Miss Le Snow has refused to cooperate, we will continue to pursue the matter to ensure the integrity of thoroughbred racing has not been compromised. Blandis reiterated that stance when contacted by the Herald on Wednesday but did not wish to comment any further. We are continuing our inquiries and continue to gather a significant amount of forensic material. Racing New South Wales Chief Steward Mark Van Gestel said, it is involved betting activities but that is all we can say at the moment.